This is Utah Public Radio. I'm Shalane Smith-Needham. It's time for our weekly movie review with critic Casey T. Allen. Thanks for coming in. Hello. And this week you saw the romantic comedy drama Life Itself. What's your take on this movie? I first must say that this film shouldn't be confused with the documentary film of the same title from 2014 that explores the life and career of the famous film critic Roger Ebert. This version of Life Itself is a family drama focused on three generations in two families, one living in New York City and one living in Spain. The film also explores how these two disparate families cross paths with each other and influence the direction of these families' lives. Through life milestones like birth, death, love, mental illness and separation, the story reminds us that each person is precious and the direction of someone's life can take surprising changes. During this movie, I felt like I was watching an extended episode of This Is Us. After the film, I was doing my research and figured out that the director and writer of this film is Dan Fogelman, who is the creator and executive producer of This Is Us. Uh, And there are some moments throughout the film that are very poignant, very well written and well acted. But there are way more moments that are overly sentimental, maudlin, desperately sweet, which... I didn't think helped the movie. So a mild recommendation? Did you like it? Was it was okay. It was just okay. I'm sorry. If you like This Is Us, then you'll love it because it's very much that kind of storytelling. But it was just too, yeah, too sentimental and sweet for me. Thanks for being here. My pleasure.